Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain about the tree select component. So it is a select component which have a tree structure. So here is an example. Here you can say this is a select component which have a sub options which looks like a tree structure. So let's get started. For that, I have an Angular application with Prime NG, Prime icons and the Prime Flex installed and those reference is added in the Angular.json file. And also the prime icon reference is added in the style.css file. Then adding the implementation of the tree select. For that, you have to add three components in the module file. So I have only a one module.ts file and one component file. So wherever you want to use this tree select module, please import those modules in that particular one. Okay. So here I'm going to import three things. One is tree select module. That is a main one. Since the tree select module is a form element, we have to either use the forms module in order to use the ng model or you have to use the reactive forms module in order to use the form control name. Okay. So the browser animation module is also required in order to use the tree select module. Otherwise it will throw some error. Then one by one you have to add in the import array. Once this is done, go to the HTML file and simply add the component P tree select. That's it. Then you can add the ng model. I'm adding a variable selected option. And the selected option I'm adding in the TS file as any then we have to add the options inside the drop down right so for that you can add the property called options and you have to add the tree options so declare this variable here i'm adding it as an any and it will be empty so there should be a structure for this tree options which is called a tree node structure so it will have a key label data children like that okay so for that i'm just copying some data for this and i'm just pasting here and here you will be able to see there should be a property called key which should be unique for each parent child for everything it should be a unique okay then the label which is a one we are going to display then the data which we are not displaying anywhere just for an information okay then icon in order to show an icon uh, beside this label you should install this prime icons otherwise the icon won't show the children's means the sub option of this document so the sub option again have another set of child children then you will be able to add the children with again the key label icon data so this is how the structure looks once this is saved, go and add ng serve command, then it will open in the localhost to 4200. So if you want to add more about the tree structure, what you can do is, there is a tree node. So instead of any, maybe we can give the tree node and is an any array and this tree node which have label data icon so there are different key properties whichever the properties you want you can use it okay so this is something a tree node each node is a tree api which is coming from the prime ng api now you can see the 4200 and which has a documents if you click on this label it is getting selected and if you click on this arrow it is getting expanded so this is how it looks like so this is a single select now and let me add a placeholder also so that it looks more good placeholder select item and also i'm just making it is in the full width so I'm just adding some classes of the prime flex. 
so it will available in the full width you can see now so you will be able to select now to make it as a multi select what you can do is there is an option called selection mode so by default it will be single so the selection mode you can make it as a multiple when you make it as a multiple make sure you are giving another property called the meta key selection as false otherwise it won't work okay so after making the multiple i am making the meta selection uh, meta key selection as a false if you click on any option that is getting added so the multiple selection is able to achieve using this one so if you want to make it as a chips chip structure now it is a comma separated right if you want to make it as a chip uh, structure you can make a display then you can instead of uh, by default it is a comma you can make it as a chip now if you select the data it will get added as a chip see the similar way the next way next option is multiple so instead of multiple if you make it as a checkbox you can see the checkbox and also don't forget to add the meta key selection as a false okay so here the checkbox will be available and if you click on the parent checkbox the inner checkbox is getting added in the you know selection and the other thing is if you select the inner child then the parent will get selected if you select all the inner child the parent will get selected if you don't want this property there is a option called propagate selection down and propagate selection up okay so if i'm adding both property propagate selection up means if you click on this one propagate selection down means if you click on the documents you don't want to select the work and the inner child propagate selection up means if you select the inner all the inner child you don't want to select the main child main you know the main element then you can make it as a propagate selection up so i making both as false now so i'm just making both as false so if you select an inner child that child only getting selected if you child selecting the parent element only that parent element is getting selected not the inner child or not the other elements okay so the next option is if you want to add a filter in this drop down you will have a option called filter is true so the filter equal to true then if you want to make automatically the focus needs to be on the filter when the uh, select button is open then you will you can add another property called filter input focus as true now you can see a filter is appear if you want to give a placeholder you can give a placeholder filter placeholder now i am not giving that and if i am searching for the home the option will be visible here and by default the label is searching and if you want to change you can change the property so in the ap if you go to the documentation and in the ap section there are other keys also available for example uh, by default as i mentioned the filter by using the label if you want to filter by for example the filter by data you can add it okay the filter by you can change from label to data and the filter mode by default it is lenient and there is another option called strict mode so you can use that as well then placeholder you can give it then as i mentioned propagate selection down and propagate selection up the show clear is just for clearing the data so i will i will show you i think i missed that one so show clear if i give the show clear equal to true what happen is if i select something uh, there will be a clear button available then you can clear it okay so these are the available options of this prime ng tree select and there are some other options other events are also there or node expand or node collapse there will be uh, event will be triggered and you will be able to get this uh, selected um, event so on show on hide on clear on filter and on node and select and 
own node select these are the available events in the tree select 